As a night shift worker, I am personally so sick of getting headaches. They are absolutely debilitating, particularly at three, four, five o'clock in the morning, and I'm sure you are as well. So throughout this video, I wanna explore exactly why we're getting these headaches, finding an easy, simple solution that we can do at these wee hours of the morning, but also importantly, look at ways that we can prevent these headaches from even coming on in the first place. At the end of this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a particular juice that is going to make your headache disappear. I can't wait to show you. Let's get into the video. The first issue that could be causing your headaches is caffeine or a lack of it. Yes, it's the thing that you're probably holding in your hand right now. This one's really tricky to talk about because I know for most night shift workers, including myself, we rely on caffeine to help make it through the night shift. When we drink coffee or your favorite choice of caffeine, it blocks the dulling, more sleepy parts of our brain, allowing us to concentrate more and to focus on the job at hand. It also constricts certain blood vessels in our brain. So when we don't drink co coffee or caffeine, these blood vessels open up, allowing more blood flow to reach your brain. And this can cause withdrawal headaches and make us feel really terrible. So a very simple solution you might be asking yourself is, why don't I just drink more coffee? It seems like the simple solution here. But you need to ask yourself before you pour another cup of joe is how much you've had today. According to the FDA, healthy adults shouldn't have any more than 400 milligrams of caffeine in one day, which equates to about four to five cups of coffee. So ask yourself, have you had more than that? If you find that you're beginning to shake and you get really irritable with all of your work colleagues and you've had four to five cups of coffee already and the night it's, it's only 11 p.m., it might be time to consider cutting back on your coffee, but doing it very slowly. Going cold turkey could make these symptoms even worse. So if you do find that you're getting headaches that you think are related to caffeine, either too much or too little, there's a few little tricks you might wanna try. The first thing is getting some peppermint oil and to rub it up on your temples and also in this part of your wrist. The next thing you could do is apply an ice pack either just to the back of your head or even the bridge part of your neck. Some people find this really relieving for a headache. The third thing uh, that you could do is swap to herbal teas. So I've got a couple here. Um, there's a licorice and ginger tea or even just a simple green tea you could try overnight. As a coffee drinker, I know switching to something like this may seem absolutely out of the question and you just want coffee, which for most of the time it's okay, but just remember when you're hitting those real upper limits of five, six, seven cups of coffee a day, it's probably too much and that's why you're getting headaches. The fourth thing that you could do is try acupressure, which when you feel like these headaches coming on, if you get... Um, if you push into this part, so between your thumb and your index finger, if you push in there and you just make little circles with your finger, uh, you might find that that starts to relieve some of the pressure that you're feeling in your head. The next thing you could do is drink more water and that leads us nicely into our next tip. The second issue that might be causing your headaches is dehydration. And I'm sure you've thought about this before or you've felt really dry in your mouth and suddenly you've got a headache. But I want to get something a little bit personal with you and ask, how yellow is your wee? This is always a really good indication for me when I know at the end of the day, if my wee is super yellow, I know that I have not drunk enough and is probably why I've been getting headaches. And this is particularly important. Maybe if you're mid night shift and your pee is super yellow, start upping how much water you're actually drinking and you'll find that your headache may just resolve all by itself. When we work the night shift in certain jobs, such as a nurse, doctor, maybe even in an aeroplane, the environments that we work on are have got their aircon absolutely blasting and generally the temperature stays the same. So we don't get these prompts like day shift workers do that we have to drink because we're just a lot of the time not thirsty. So this is a problem for night shift workers because we have to find strategies ourselves that remind us that we have to drink. Checking your pee color might be one good indication. If you've got a dry mouth, it's probably too late. So Putting your drink bottle in an area that you can actually see it during your shift or have competitions with your workmates to see who can drink the most 
or setting an alarm for yourself to remind you to drink, whatever you need to do to up the amount of water you drink in a night shift will do wonders for your headache. A little hydration ninja tip here I learned from Audra Starkey, who is the author of this book, Too Tired to Cook, which I highly recommend if you're a shift worker and you want something to read. Her little ninja tip is to add a little bit of sea salt into your drink. Now, I like to make sure that my drink bottle is lukewarm water because I think the salt just um, gets mixes up a little bit easier. But this is because as night shift workers, we're a little bit depleted in our sodium and potassium often. So this helps the water absorb into our bodies so we don't pee it all out. So next time, add a little bit of salt into your water bottle. If you're enjoying this video so far, would you please do me a favor and like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. As a night shift worker, it really gets my butt into gear because it tells me that you like what I'm doing. So I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. The third issue for your headaches on night shift could be the huge fluctuations that most of us feel with our blood sugar level. I think we've all had that moment on night shift where you just think, oh my God, I need some sugar. I cannot go on until I have some sugar in my system. The problem with that is, yes, it gives us that energy, that spike for maybe an hour if we're lucky, and then it all comes crashing down. And I think for a lot of us, we know this crash happens. We're our own worst enemy, but we cannot keep our hands off the lollies and the chocolate that just seem to be around most night shift workplaces. So I want you to really have a serious think about your diet on night shift. Now you can lie to me all you want, but I probably won't help you. How much processed food are you actually eating on night shift? Do you take the time to meal prep or are you just relying on what's in the vending machine? Do you eat a lot of sugar to keep you going on night shift or are you really trying to make healthy food choices? Now's the time to really start thinking about your diet on night shift and what changes can you possibly make? Some possible solutions from food you could think about adding to your night shift lunchbox to sort of even out how much sugar is getting released into your bloodstream to stop so much insulin having to be released is things like maybe sweet potato chips, chickpeas that maybe you could roast in the oven before you go, oranges because they are bursting with vitamin C, and even medjool dates cut in half with a bit of almond butter. I find this is way too sweet for me, but some other people really love it. You could also do the same with celery instead of dates and putting a little bit of almond butter on that. But really think about what's in your snack drawer. Like the nutty professor, he's got all those sneakers in his snack drawer. As a night shift worker, we don't need this. It is not doing any favors for our headaches. The fourth reason for your headaches could be your environment. Are you a doctor or a nurse and the bright lights in the hospital environment, are they causing your headaches? Or maybe you work in aviation and you're helping direct the planes or you're a pilot or a flight attendant and you're around the petrol fumes from the planes all shift. Or maybe you're a construction worker and you constantly got dust and smoke constantly that you're breathing in all shift. All these things in our environment could be causing your headaches. So it's a good idea now to think about the things that you can do within your environment and your workplace to help sort of reduce some of these environmental factors giving you a headache. The fifth potential cause for your headaches on night shift is you're eating foods which are really high in histamine, nitrites, or artificial sugars. Foods like smoked meats, aged cheese, avocado, dried fruit, and even fermented foods such as yogurt, sauerkraut, kombucha, which are labeled as superfoods, but just do not agree with some people. And you may be one of these. Keeping a food diary as a night shift worker can be hugely beneficial to work out if you are actually sensitive to some of these foods, because generally on nights we just, we're not thinking clearly, but if you actually write things down and work out, look, this thing's giving me stomach pain, this, particular food items making me feel sick. But importantly, if this particular food, such as drinking kombucha, for example, is giving me a headache, these are really important tips to talk to a dietitian about uh, and even your doctor to work out a meal plan that's going to be most beneficial for you on your next run of night shift.
It might be one of these night shift workers that absolutely love a hot dog, bacon, jerky, all these sorts of ham, salami, these sort of foods are quite high in nitrite. So just be very careful adding too much of these into your lunchbox because that may be what's causing your headaches. If you enjoy a beer after night shift, this is also high in histamine. So just be very careful if you're going to the pub after a shift to wind down as I've done many times. Just be very careful what you're drinking there because one, you might not be able to sleep later, but also it could cause huge headaches preventing you, one, from driving home safely and also having the sleep that you need and deserve. Another cause for your headaches could be stress. I know when I'm personally stressed and I've got a lot going on both at work and at home, I start to get headaches and reflux and it's awful. It's really awful. Unfortunately, as night shift workers, we are biologically stressed this means we're working constantly against our body clock and the way that our body is programmed to work. We're supposed to sleep at night and be awake in the day and we have just flipped this on its head, which causes our body just to constantly be in a state of stress. So I think we need to help our bodies out here a little bit and start to maybe do things that day shift workers may not have to think about but unfortunately for us we do if you think you're getting headaches because of stress there's a few things you can do first of all is you can up your intake of foods which are high in magnesium this is a micronutrient that during times of stress is often depleted particularly for us night shift workers so foods that you could eat more of is figs bananas black beans go great in some tacos and also pumpkin seeds, which you could sprinkle on the top of your salad, for example. The next thing you can do is try to up your exercise if that's something that you help relieves your stress. I've recently started swimming, even though it's in the slow lane, but it is doing wonders for my stress and sort of my ability to concentrate and to get more done. The next thing you can do is download some mindfulness apps. Now, this might seem like really far-fetched for some of you, but I've found, particularly after a night shift, sometimes I just don't want to hold a book. So I listen to these apps such as Headspace or Calm, and it just puts me in a better frame of mind to go to sleep. I talked about these apps in a recent video um, which for multiple night shifts in a row, which I'll link above my head. Um, the last thing I think that's really important for your stress is to think about your lifestyle as a night shift worker and identify the things that are stressing you out. Is it your job? Is it your relationships? Is it a financial problem? What is it that's causing you stress? You can write this down or actually go and talk to someone. If you need to talk to a psychologist or even a family friend or even your spouse, talk to someone and get these, get the thoughts out of your head and actually say them because asking for help can sometimes be the first step here to relieve the stress and to you know, hopefully get less headaches. The second thing to decrease your stress, I know this might sound really simple, is just to take some deep breaths. Now, I know you may think, God, how this seems ridiculous, but I honestly find if things are just getting a little bit too much, step away from your colleagues for a minute or go into the bathroom and take a few deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that five times and I just find it's like instant relief. The final cause for your headaches as a night shift worker could be your lack of sleep. When we're sleep deprived, our body has a really hard time working out where a pain is coming from and naturally trying to resolve the pain. So the body's natural painkiller is suppressed. We recently surveyed our readers and our community at the other shift and a significant amount, like 80% of us working night shifts slept for less than seven hours a night. Now, I know a lot of night shift workers will say, ah, oh, I only need six hours, but research shows we actually need more than that. Think about your routine as a night shift worker and work out some ways that you can improve the amount of sleep that you are getting after a night shift. Do you need to try different sleep aids? Do you need to alter your diet a little bit? Do you need to change the exercise routine? What can you do to try to up the amount of sleep that you are currently having as a night shift worker? We recently did a video that discusses some sleep aids that I think you're really going to enjoy. So I'll link that above my head and also in the description below this video. There's three other things you should consider when you're thinking about your headache and night shift. 
First of all, you could have an infection. Second of all, you might actually have a migraine. And thirdly, this is mainly for the women, are you hormonal and you're just about to get your period? There are so many reasons you could have a headache. So please talk to your doctor if it's persisting for too long, talk about it, ask for help and see what you can do to try to be pain free. Now, after watching that, you must be thirsty. So at the start of this video, I promised that I would make you a juice that would help relieve your headache. Now, I can't take credit for this because I listened to it on the Healthy Shift Worker podcast with Audra Starkey, but she also got it from Joe Cross, which is rebootwithjoe.com. So this is not my recipe, but I absolutely love it, and I thought I wanted to share it. So shout out to Joe. So what you're going to need to make this juice, first of all, some spinach. You can alternate the greens. That's what I love about this. You can add some kale there, or you can also do some uh, lettuce or some silver beet, whatever you like. So there's some ginger there, some cucumber, and I also, uh, and some pineapple. You can use fresh pineapple. We're out of season um, at the minute, so that's why I've got the tinned and also a little bit of ice because I love the crunch and I like it to be nice and cold. I've also got a lemon there, but you can use grapefruit and lime if you prefer those flavors. We then give all the veggies a really good wash, pop the ice into the juicer and start packing all those veggies into your juicer. You don't have to be neat and cute about how you cut the veggies, just stick them in. Once you get up in the afternoon from nights and your headache is still niggling and if you've got a little bit left that's why sometimes I make a bit extra come out into the backyard get that sun exposure we talked about earlier and have a nice sip of your drink what a beautiful start to your day <music> 